Welcome back, Clippers. I'm Mrs. Sherwood, your seventh and eighth grade science teacher, and I'm so excited to return to school so that we can learn about our natural world together. Hey guys, Mr. Graham here, coming at you from room 116. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys this fall in a couple days. I can't wait to see you this fall, and I cannot wait to see what books you've read. Good evening, Clippers. This is your Columbiana Middle School principal, Mr. Martin. On behalf of our Board of Education, Administration, and our entire Columbiana Middle School Clippers staff, I would like to welcome you to the 2020-2021 academic year. Personally, I have missed you all and am excited for the upcoming year. We have worked hard this summer to ensure a successful year for all of our students while providing options that work for our families. I apologize for our cancellation of our traditional open house event, but I'm in, I am confident our virtual setting will provide you with the information necessary for a successful start to the school year. Along with this video, our grade level teams have created packets of information which will provide you with, with the essentials regarding remote learning. This information may become essential for all families as we move throughout the school year. I hope you find the video helpful as always, please never hesitate to contact me with questions or concerns. And as always, have a great day and go Clips. Hello Clipper students and families. I'm Mr. Jackson, your assistant principal, and I would like to welcome you to the start of a brand new school year. Whether you are beginning the year in person or remotely, we look forward to providing you a safe and educational experience here at Columbiana Middle School. The most important ingredient in the recipe for success is daily attendance. For in-person learners, we will continue to operate under House Bill 410 requirements as we have in the past, using designated hourly thresholds to determine absenteeism and truancy. For remote learners, attendance will be tracked using multiple methods, which may include, but may not be limited to, participation in teacher-led activities, otherwise known as synchronous learning sessions, evidence of participation or lack thereof in self-directed or independent learning activities, otherwise known as asynchronous learning sessions, daily interactions with the teacher to acknowledge attendance. Examples of this could be, but are not limited to, messages, emails, phone calls, video chats, or other formats that enable teachers to interact with students. Lastly, we will use assignment completion to help us determine attendance. Again, thank you for taking the time to view this video, and we look forward to providing you a productive and safe 2020-2021 school year here at Columbiana Middle School. We have some notable staff changes this year in the middle school. We would like to welcome Mr. Franken, who will be serving as our eighth grade math teacher. We would also like to congratulate Mr. Graham on his move to seventh grade math, Ms. Hatch on her move to sixth grade science, Mrs. McNeil will be servicing all remote ELA students grade five through eight, Mrs. Rich will be serving as our fifth grade English language arts teacher, and Mr. Velasquez will be coming down to the middle school assisting us with 7th and 8th grade as an interventionist. Hi, I'm Mrs. Fridley. I teach 5th grade math at Columbiana Middle School and I am looking forward to this year. I know it's going to be unlike any other, but we will make the best of it and I can't wait to see all of you. Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Rich and I teach fifth grade language arts. I am so excited to have you in my classroom this year. Hey guys, Mr. Mosier here, technology class. Looking forward to seeing you guys come back to school this week. Enjoy the last few days of summer. Hi Clippers, it's Mrs. Cowan, your choir director. And I am notably excited to be back to school this year. Hi CMS students, this is Mr. Hurdle. I have uh, Phys Ed for 5th through 8th grade, and I look forward to seeing all of you guys very soon. Hello everyone, 
My name is Mr. Penrod. I am the fifth grade science and social studies teacher here at Columbiana Middle School. I am very excited to get started here for a new school year. I know it's been a long time since we've all been together, but I'm looking forward to it and I hope you guys are ready to have a great year as well. Hi Clippers, it's Mrs. Alanish or Mrs. Z. I just wanted to say hello and welcome back. I'll be at Dixon Elementary this year and at Columbiana Middle School. Hi sixth graders, I'm Mrs. Martin, your language arts teacher. I'm also the high school volleyball coach, so I spent a lot of time in the gym this summer. I can't wait to meet you and have you in class. We're gonna be doing lots of reading and writing this year. There is so much to see and explore in our world. I'm Miss Hatch, and whether you're in sixth grade science, eighth grade science, sixth grade social studies, or fifth grade focus, our time together is gonna be A blast. <laughs> Hi sixth graders, I'm Miss Mowry. I am the intervention specialist in your grade. I will be in and out of your guys' classrooms teaching you all sorts of fun information. I can't wait to see you guys on August 25th for our first day of sixth grade. Hi, I'm Mrs. Baylor. I teach sixth grade social studies and eighth grade social studies and language arts. Can't wait to see you all real soon. Hi Southside Middle School, Mrs. Rob Carney here, your school counselor. I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of you and your smiling faces when we come back to school in August. I just want you all to remember that no matter what, whatever problems you're having at home or school, I'm always available to talk to you. Can't wait to see you soon. Hi, I'm Mrs. Weber and I'm the school nurse here at Columbiana Middle School. Hello everybody and welcome back to school. My name is Mr. Velasquez. I'm excited to be back in the South Side Middle School. I'll be working with the 7th and 8th grade team. Hi, I'm Mrs. Chamis. I teach at South Side Middle School. I have the self-contained unit. I teach all the subjects, and I'm excited about starting the school year with everybody. See you soon. Hi there, my name is Melanie Hepler. I'm a para pro aide in our special ed unit. This will be my fourth year at Columbiana Middle School. My name is Mr. Miller. I am the band director at Columbiana Middle School and Columbiana High School. I hope everybody had a great summer and you're excited to get back in the classroom. My name is Mrs. McNeil and I will be teaching grades five through eight English language arts remote students. I'm looking forward to an amazing school year. Hi, I'm Diana Richardson. I'm an educational aide in the MH unit at the Columbiana Middle School. I've been in education for over 25 years. Hi, it's Mrs. Edwards and I teach seventh grade language arts. I just know that this is going to be an amazing year and I'm so excited to finally get to meet all of my seventh graders. Hi, I'm Mrs. Capizello and I teach sixth grade math. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you and starting a great new year. Hola, señoras y señoritas. Soy la profesora de español, Señor Martin, and I am going to be your Spanish teacher. Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Franken and I'm the new eighth grade math teacher. A uh, fun fact for you, I actually graduated from Columbiana in 2014 and I am very excited to be back. I am looking forward to a very interesting but fun year with everybody. I look forward to getting to know each of my students, whether it's in person or online through the virtual education. As always, be good, be careful, and make smart choices. See you all very soon. This year, parents were provided an option to designate remote or traditional face-to-face -face learning for their students. We have provided a district restart plan and a Columbiana Middle School restart guide. These can be found on the Columbiana Middle School website. Each grade level team will offer a parent informational packet, which outlines remote learning and individual grade level expectations. This informational packet will be utilized immediately for those students who have selected remote learning. Provided our local area remains yellow or orange, we will implement remote and traditional learning schedules as planned. However, traditional face-to-face -face students will need the remote learning information in the event that our building moves to a risk level of red or purple. In the event, that our area moves to red, Columbiana Middle School students will move to a hybrid learning scenario where our face-to-face -face students come to school some days and engage in remote learning on other days. Aviators will come to school traditionally on Mondays and Wednesdays 
and engage in remote learning on Tuesday, Thursday, and Fridays. Pilots will come to school on Tuesdays and Thursdays and engage in remote learning on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. In the event that we move to a risk level of purple, Columbiana Middle School students will all move to a remote learning environment. Whether you are a remote learner or a traditional learner, whether you are an aviator or a pilot, you are all Columbiana Clippers. We are excited to help lead you through another successful school year. Students and parents may pick up informational materials and beginning of year forms this Thursday or Friday, August 20th or 21st, between the hours of 8 o'clock a.m. and 3 o'clock p.m. Remote learners will be introduced to their schedule and expectations within the grade level informational packet. Traditional learners may also pick up a schedule in the CMS office on Thursday or Friday during the hours of 8 o'clock a.m. and 3 o'clock p.m. This schedule will also designate students as aviators or pilots. This information is important in the event that our traditional students move into a hybrid learning schedule. Columbiana schools will begin the school year with a delayed start schedule. We will operate on this schedule until further notice. The start of the school day in each building will begin approximately 45 minutes later than normal. CMS students may enter the building at 8 o'clock in the morning. For those of you who will be transporting your child to school in the morning, the drop-off point is in the rear of the building through the cafeteria entrance. Use caution as you travel behind the high school en route to the rear of the middle school cafeteria. Your child may enter through the cafeteria doors upon being dropped off. We ask that you follow the signs and exit in the far lane toward the bus garage. This year, our start time is slightly later than in the past. Students may be dropped off as early as 8 a.m., but we encourage you to arrive as close to 8.15 as possible. Bus riders will enter the building through the doors closest to the choir room. Once inside the building, simply walk straight ahead and enter the cafeteria on your left. From 8.15 to 8.27, students will enter their homerooms to begin the school day. If you arrive after 8.27, your child will be considered tardy to school and will need to enter through the front doors and come in through the office to sign in for the day. At the start of the school year, students will notice some changes within our day in order to mitigate risks related to COVID. Students will notice smaller class sizes with approximately one fourth of students selecting remote learning. All students and staff will have temperatures taken in the morning with high efficiency thermal scanners. Those with fevers will be referred to the nurse's office for further evaluation. Students will notice a hand washing station when they first enter the cafeteria in the morning. All students will be expected to wash hands for at least 20 seconds at the start of the school day and at lunchtime. Students will receive education regarding how to stay safe and keep others safe during these times. Students will remain in their home room for math, English language arts, science and social studies, while core subject teachers will move from room to room. Students will still travel to specials, music classes, recess, study hall, and the cafeteria throughout their day. Students will receive portable plexiglass dividers, which can be carried from room to room and set up for a safer student work area. Students will notice plexiglass on cafeteria tables in order to provide students a safe area to eat as students will obviously not be required to wear a mask during lunch. The district has invested in additional sanitization products and equipment which will assist in preventing potential spread. Students grades K through 12 will be required per Governor DeWine's mandate to wear a face covering while at school. If there's a medical diagnosis that prohibits your child from wearing a covering, please submit a note from your medical provider. As in previous years, all students will receive a student handbook. This handbook provides a wealth of information and outlines policy regarding attendance, dress code, our student code of conduct, the technology acceptable use policy, and our athletic guidelines. Remote students are expected to adhere to the student code of conduct as well as the CMS restart guideline policies. It is important to note that all students must power off personal electronic devices during the school day. 
Students will be encouraged to bring materials with them for the first half of the day and go back to their lockers for the second half of their day in order to avoid hallway congestion. During the first week of school, we will review policy and expectations with our students. Please let me know if you have any questions. In an effort to make information easily accessible, I have created a new portal that will hopefully serve as your one-stop shop for Columbiana Middle School information. You will be able to access events, the district calendar, the daily bell schedule, restart plan, staff contact information, documents, forms, and other important links in one convenient location. Please visit the new virtual principal's office for important information as we move throughout the school year. You can find the virtual principal's office by going to the Columbiana Middle School website, selecting menu at the top of the screen, and select virtual principal's office. You can also use the provided QR code. We understand that students may be concerned with finding their classes at the beginning of the year, especially fifth graders. Rest assured that Columbiana Middle School isn't nearly as large as it seems. For fifth graders entering the building in the morning, you will turn left while exiting the cafeteria, and this will take you toward the fifth grade hallway where you will spend a majority of your day. You can also find the study hall and Mr. Mosier's computer lab in this wing of the building. To access the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade hallways, along with the choir room, art room, in computer labs, both upstairs and downstairs, simply turn right out of the cafeteria. For physical education or gym class, simply follow the hallway that connects the middle school to the high school and you will find the CMS gymnasium on your right. Band is held in the high school band room. If and when you have band, simply continue past the middle school gym to the last hallway on the right before entering the high school. Continue down this hallway until you arrive at the band room on your left side. Fifth graders this year will be starting the year in a general music class. Some in the band room and some in the choir room. Room location will be determined by your designation as either an aviator or a pilot. The decision to move into either band or choir will be made at a later date. A small number of 8th graders will also be traveling to the high school in the morning for algebra class. As we start the year, Mr. Jackson or Mr. Martin will meet you in the hallway that connects the high school and middle school to make sure you know the way to Mrs. Mediate's room. I hope you have found this virtual orientation video to be helpful. Although this school year may look different, I am looking forward to a wonderful educational experience for all of our students. Please never hesitate to call, email, or set up an appointment as you have questions or concerns. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful rest of your evening.